everybody. Welcome back to more bonus videos for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. On the last bonus episode, we fought Sephiroth and got our butt beaten real bad, but we ultimately triumphed over him and we got the Fenrir Keyblade. Today we're going to go on and take on the bonus world, which is the Cavern of Remembrance here in Radiant Garden. Before we go there, I believe there actually is one puzzle piece somewhere that I haven't actually gotten. Just judging based on the puzzle piece tracker, uh, there's one, there's like a gap in Radiant Garden's uh, puzzle pieces where I found, like here, I'll just show you. So we go to puzzle pieces, list of pieces. Here in Radiant Garden, as you can see, there's just this one here in between these two. Which seems to indicate that it's somewhere outside of the bonus dungeon, whereas I think all of the rest of these are specifically in the bonus dungeon. So, I'm gonna just keep an eye out for that. It should be somewhere along the way. Hopefully, it might actually be in the castle halls. In that maze. I don't know, but I'm gonna find it, and I'll fight some enemies along the way, because why not? I can get some lightning gems, which might be useful to have. Ooh, I got blizzard boost. Not that that will really help all that much, because I don't use Blizzard all that much, but whatever. Blizzard boost. I need some more AP, don't I? Mm. That gives me five, five, seven, five. That's a lot of AP boosts. Uh... Well, at the very least, I'm going to use... AP boost will have no effect if used. Really? Is my AP, like, capped, then? Does my AP cap at 173? Huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna unequip all of these combo pluses, then. I'll equip Blizzard Boost. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it could be that, so my AP's right now at 173, it could be that after I get the remaining level ups, I'll have 200 AP, and that might be my cap, in which case, that's why it wouldn't let me use AP boosts. Well, if that's the case, then maybe I should use some on Donald or Goofy. Alright, 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 uh, Donald and Goofy, which one of you has more abilities you need to equip? Donald, uh, it would be nice for Donald to have all those magic boosts. I mean, they're, they're both kind of in it. Tell you what, I'm going to give one to each. There we go. <laughs> now neither of us can equip anything new. <laughs> Actually, well, no, Goofy can get MP Rage. I could also give him Defender, but I think MP Rage will be a little more useful for him. Yeah, I, be I bet it's Sora's AP will cap after he gets the remaining level ups. If so, that's really nice game design. To just know that ahead of time. Alright. Still, um, I still need to find that blasted puzzle piece. <laughs> Blast that pizza pad! I, I bet you it's in the corridor somewhere. Alright, well one thing is we've com we have all the pieces for the duality puzzle piece, so... I'm gonna try completing this one. By trying, I mean, I will be able to complete this one. Cool, we get the rare document. That's what I was looking for. That's the last recipe. Now we're going to go to Moogle, and we give up the recipe. So now we can make the draw rain. But that requires materials that we, uh, we don't have. That's okay. I'm going to make another Mithril gem. I'm going to use a Serenity Stone and a Bright Stone. Oh yeah, we get the Mithril Crystal, a mysterious crystal made from a Mithril Ore with very rare ingredient of item synthesis. Yes, we can make those anytime we want now, provided we have the materials. Uh-oh, we need more Twilight Crystals. <laughs> Power Band, we're gonna need more Mithril Stones. Can we make any of those? No, of course we can't. We need Dense Stones for that. What a surprise! Man, like, all these recipes we just need... Man, you need so many dense stones. The dense stones are a little on the rare side, honestly. Oh well, whatever. No, also we got new stuff in the store. Specifically, dense gems. Oh, maybe we can eventually get it so that we can just purchase dense stones. That would be nice. 
Anyhow, I eventually had to look up where the final puzzle piece was, because I literally just could not figure out where it is. And I come to realize I know why now, because it's in a room that I literally forgot even existed. So we're going to go down to the Anson's study. If we go out this way, I thought it led to a dead end, but no, we can go through here. That's a door, not a wall. Heartless Manufactory, ba -da -boom, ba -da boom There's a big chest here. I thought we got all the treasure chests. We get the Cosmic Chain. Greatly increases Fire Blizzard and Thunder Resistance, and greatly increases defense. I literally thought we had all the treasure chests. And then... There's the daylight puzzle piece. Bada beam, bada boom. Because I, I had the, like, the little Mickey Mouse icon next to treasures in the journal. Why did it not include that one? I don't know. Anyhow, now we are ready to take on the bonus dungeon. We're going to the postern. Or at least I hope we are ready. I'm going to go to customize. I'm going to make sure that we've got uh, Magnaga set to a shortcut. Cavern of Remembrance in the depths. Let's go. So there's this balloon here that drops a bunch of drive orbs if you attack it. Just a nice way to level up your drive gauge if you need it. Anyhow. Let's start fighting some of the enemies, shall we? So the, the Cavern of Remembrance basically has tougher versions of every other enemy you faced in the game. They all have new names as well, but I don't remember what they are. Oh boy. I think those are called monster cars, though. Which is a fitting name. But they're not like one hit killing us like they were last time we played them. I love the music in here, though. Especially for when you fight enemies. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, now we're getting the Remembrance Materials. All of the enemies you fight in here drop those Remembrance Materials that we were needing. So while you can just ignore the enemies for the most part, if you want the Remembrance Materials, you're gonna wanna actually beat them up. <laughs> Come back to life, Donald. You're not that hurt. Thank you, Donald. Ouch. I hate the stupid Shaman. Nice to see that shield is suiting you, Goofy. You haven't really had any trouble staying alive. So as you can see, there's quite a few puzzle pieces in here. Wham! Sunset puzzle piece. Maybe these upgraded hook bats? Take that. Oh no. Get him out of here. I, I, I don't mind the cars. The cars are easy now that we have Replica. But the cars are a lot harder to deal with when you don't have Reflect. But those stupid Shaman are very annoying. So a lot of these chests seem like they're inaccessible. Once you've got the advanced growth abilities, they aren't too bad. Ooh, a Manifest Illusion. I've been waiting to get that. Yo! Bada beam bada boom. Alright, I think we can go off to the next room now. We are now in the mine shaft, I believe. Depths of Remembrance map. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just periodically I'm gonna check my journal as I go. Okay. 
It looks like we've got... Wait. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff. We didn't miss all of those, so... Because you keep coming back to the old rooms uh, after doing this, like, there's a lot of backtracking. Or rather, entering new parts of old rooms. I'm not too worried about it. Alright. So that's an interesting part. <laughs> all these pipes we gotta navigate. This is where I said you need to upgrade all of your growth abilities. Yeah. So to get from here, you need to max level quick run. You can just do that. Sunset puzzle piece. I thought you had to do a crazy, like, aerial dodge plus glide combo. No, just a single max level quick run will get you through that. Alright. Stitch, come to me. Oh no, not the upgraded uh, trick ghosts. Get rid of them. Yeah, the upgraded trick ghosts often need magic in order to kill them. Which is fun. Advanced hammer frame. They... Oh no. Get that stupid shaman out of here. Take that. Oh man, I did not even I didn't really need Stitch for that, but it helped for him to reveal my MP. Thanks, Stitch, I appreciate it. So now we can go back, yeah, let's go back to the Cavern of Remembrance Depths, because this should lead us to, yeah. New place, new treasures. Remembrance Gem. It's over. And here, that should make a shortcut. Yeah, so that makes a shortcut, so now we don't have to go through that uh, section again. Zoop. Oh, a new place here. Mining area. Serenity gem, nice. Yeah, you want to come here and hit all of these uh, vaults. Or vaults. That's not the word. Back off. It's over. It's over. All of these valves? I don't know what the exact name for them is, but you, you hit them all, basically. That's gonna start these machines in a different room. You want the machines started, because you're gonna need them started in order to get through the dungeon. the mine shaft. Now we're gonna go for the door. To a different part of the mining area. Yeah. I'm gonna go back here. We can use Ride the Wind as a reaction command to get up even higher. Very nice. There's a lot more puzzle pieces where that came from. So if we look down here, you can see that's where the free machines were that we uh, attacked. So everything kind of interconnects in this area. Meanwhile, we're gonna climb. Oh, come on, really? Fine, take me up. <laughs> Take me up, Scotty. Ooh, an AP boost that I can't use. Sweet. Mm. Aha. 
This is going to be a map of the mineshaft area. Dark Remembrance map. And, ooh, good, another Manifest Illusion. I want as many Manifest Illusions as I can get. Mineshaft? What's in this big chest? A power boost? Oh, heck yeah! Using power boost on Sora. Oh, that's a lot of AP boosts. Uh, yeah, so that won't have any effect. I'll use them on Donald and Goofy. Donald, you're going to get Blizzard Boost, because that'll be better for you than Fire Boost will, because Fire for Donald sucks. Goofy, yeah, you don't have enough to do anything. Sorry, bro. This spot's fun. Do not fall down here, otherwise you will go fairly far back. So what we need to do here... This is where we need max level aerial dodge. Huh. Yeah. We need max level aerial dodge for that. Otherwise, again, can't get through it. Alright, Stitch. This is where we build Stitch's to the summon gauge again by avoiding all the enemies. Oh no, not advanced lancers. No! Yeah, look how, look how much we built with Stitch's summon gauge. He was at zero when we entered the room, and now he's at three. <laughs> Thanks, Stitch. You're a pal. Ooh. Even deeper in. Oh, the engine chamber. So now we're nearing the end of Cavern of Remembrance. Back off! Back off! Advanced aerial markers? I don't think so. Although this is the room where we can start getting Remembrance Crystals. There's only, I think, one enemy in the whole game that drops them. And you can also see just how much HP these enemies have now. Like, they have a whole bar of HP, basically. <laughs> I think these enemies here are called Metal Springs, but I could be wrong. I'm not up to date on all the core Heartless names. Watch out for the steam there. That's okay. Yep, the Omega De De Devastators. These are the ones that drop the Remembrance Crystals. Replica's your friend. Darn it, we didn't get a Remembrance Crystal from him. Do not get pushed off the conveyor belt, otherwise uh, you're gonna have to do the beginning of this room again. I'll talk on it. Nope, no, 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 no! Darn it, still no Remembrance Crystal for him, huh? Got more magic, though. That's nice. Wow. This room is just kind of annoying because the ground is constantly pushing you backwards. Oh, God. I don't like Devastators, and I dislike these guys even more. Oh, well, that's a Remembrance Crystal. That's good. Ouch! Did you knock it off? Hey. 
There we go, yes. The more Remembrance Crystals I can get, the better. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to just buy Remembrance Crystals at this point with how many I've gotten. We can glide over here. Get another AP boost. Yay! Ooh, and another Manifest Illusion. Alright, how many chests do we have left? Uh, treasures. I actually missed that many. I think I missed one. Maybe it's further back. A lot of these chests they just want you to go backwards for. No, I think that's all of them. Back to the mine chat. Oh well, here's here's one. <laughs> Maybe I didn't miss any. Magic boost. Very happy with that. Uh I don't know, I think I did miss one. That's okay, I can go back. Alright, magic boost, that's going to Sora, obviously. AP boost, uh, that'll go to Goofy. Goofy, I'm gonna equip Defender on you to give you even more survivability. Goofy benefits from Defender a lot more than Sora does. And this is the room where we need max level Glide to get through. I'm pretty sure all these drops just lead backwards. Alright. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do here is uh, high jump, aerial dodge, glide. And unless your Mac glide is max level, you will not be fast enough to get through all of that. Sunset puzzle piece, nice, and another AP boost. Alright, this is the final gauntlet, the transport to remembrance. We're gonna want Stitch here. Because we're gonna fight several very long enemy mobs, and hopefully we can get more Twilight materials here. So that way we can make some more of those recipes. Stitch, I can use an MP boost, please, and thank you. Thank you, Stitch. I appreciate it. Yeah, look at how much HP these nobodies have. Like, Dusks are supposed to be some of the easiest enemies in the game, and they have more than a whole bar of HP all by themselves. <laughs> Magnaga plus a uh, finishing lead. Amazing combination. And because of the nature of summons in this game, every time you, like, damage an enemy and defeat an enemy, your summon gauge bumps up slightly, so Stitch will basically never go away. <laughs> I mean, Donald and Goofy are kind of useless anyways, so... Alright, that was a lot of enemies, but Stitch made it very easy. <laughs> and this is why I wanted Magna to custom as uh, shortcutted. Okay, snipers. I haven't been paying attention to if we've gotten any synthesis materials for this fight yet. Oh my gosh. One hit from that Berserker dealt that much damage. Oh yeah, Magnica is so good. Donald leveled up. Aw, oh, yeah. Gather. And again, if you're having a hard time with the enemies in here, you can always level grind. Gather. Back off. Gather. Yeah, these nobody's just been hanging out. Oh. The nice thing about Stitch is when you're low on HP, he will pretty much always do that attack where he makes enemies drop HP orbs for you. Which you can exploit in the Olympus Coliseum Arenas to get a very high score. 
Alright. Last fight. Oh, okay. I'm gonna kill myself. Stitch, please refill my MP. Thank you, Stitch. I don't think I've gotten any synthesis materials for this fight. I'm not sure if you can. Oh yeah, more AP. That's what I like to see. Oh no, not dancers. I don't really care about the creepers, but the dancers have got to go. Fortune teller, eh? Actually, this is a summoner, I think. Tough little buggers. It, it wouldn't let me cure! It would not let me aerial recovery or cure in that fight. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to do the other waves again. That would have sucked. Combo you to death and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You can't escape. And it's still not over. This is the battle that never ends. Gather. 
you don't have Stitch here, like, you're just screwed. God, Donald and Goofy are just gonna be dead for the whole fight. <laughs> they can't do nothing. I thought I already killed you. Get these summoners out of here. Stitch, how about giving me more MP? Stitch, how about giving me more MP? Stitch, how about giving me more MP? Every time I, I kill one of these guys, another one pops up. Where are they coming from? Seriously, literally, there was only one of these guys. Every time I then like he's respawned like five times. Just die already. Finally! And I get a new item slot for that. And Donald and Goofy get more HP. Well, that took for a freaking ever. Whew. And now we are at the end of Cavern of Remembrance. Here we are. This is the Garden of Assemblage. One of the more infamous rooms in the game. Let's open these chests. First up, we get a Lost Illusion. Nice, that's a good synthesis material. And then here we should get a map. Sure enough, Garden of Assemblage map. Now let's look at the computer. Turn on. So this just makes um, 13 of these portals appear. The, this is home to 13 of the game's bonus bosses, again, only in the final mix version. This is the Data Organization, where we basically fight every single member of Organization 13, including the Absent Silhouettes we fought, only they're way, way, way tougher. These are some of the toughest bonus bosses in the game, we will be saving them for another episode. Also, what it does is turning on the computer puts us back here at... The restoration site. This like, kind of opens a little door for us to quick travel to, which is going to be very, very nice. Now in the meantime, I believe I missed one treasure chest. Oh no! So there's only one treasure chest left, and that is the treasure chest you get as a reward for clearing all of the data organization members. Okay, but I'm still missing quite a few. I'm missing three treasures. I'm missing two in Agrabah since when? Since when am I missing two treasures in Agrabah? Well, <laughs> we got rid of, or we got rid of, we got all the puzzle pieces, so might as well get those two treasure chests, eh? Let's go off to the postern. And let's go to Agrabah get those last two chests. Judging they, I, on their location on the journal map, they should probably be in Cave of Wonders somewhere? Maybe? Either that or they're in the uh, Ruined Chamber area somewhere. Maybe they're in the Treasure Room. Were they in the Treasure Room? I've been there. They were in the Treasure Room. I've been here how many times level grinding forms and I never once got these. Wow. That's funny. Anyhow, we got all the treasure chests now except for one. And now we should be able to put together all of the different, uh, puzzles. Serenity Crystal, cool. <laughs> this is definitely how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Manifest Illusion, cool. And then there are these puzzles, which are gonna be a little more complicated. Let's try to find the uh, corner pieces first, shall we? All right, well, 
The nice thing is you can look at the blue border. The pieces with the blue border, uh... Oh, can we not rotate these? Oh, if we can't rotate these, then that's actually great. So find the ones with the blue border first. And you can tell, so like, this one has a blue border on this side. So that means it'll go on the right-hand side. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real nice. There we go. That took a while, but we get the Executive's Reign. Immensely increases maximum AP. Nice. Alright. So done that, we done that. Alright, just the sunset left. This is the tough one, because now we've got a giant puzzle that we can rotate stuff for. So once again, start by finding the blue border pieces and seeing where we can put these, eh? Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Well, obviously, we know this one is going to be <laughs> right side up. So we see the little Twilight Town tower in the background, so that's a little bit of a clue. I think I got those two corner pieces left, so once I find the I think I've got the three corner pieces left, so once I find the villain wood. I do remember all the organization for team members are at the bottom. I do remember that. <laughs> There we go, and we get the Grand Ribbon! Highly increases all resistances and extremely increases defense. We are done with the puzzle pieces. Alrighty. First thing we're gonna do, let's see. Gonna replace the Aegis Chain with the Grand Ribbon. Seems a good idea to me. Power Band, let's see. We got better things than the Power Band, right? Well, kind of. Eh, yeah, those can stay, that's fine. Ruby can't equip more. Aladdin. Oh, I don't care about Aladdin. Donald's good. Uh, Sora, I think, can equip more now. Yeah. 
Let's see, I'll equip... I'll equip Retaliating Slash. I've kind of been missing that one. Alright, wow. One other thing we're going to do before we end the episode is... Visit a Moogle Shop. Because we got some stuff to hand over. <laughs> Beast! Alright. Synthesize, handed over all synthesis materials. We obtain Aura Calcum Plus for completing the collection because we now have given over one of every material. And we obtain a Serenity Credit Soul for completing a collection and Serenity Shard and a Serenity Stone and a Manifest Illusion and a Lost Illusion. Alright. Well, then we're going to visit again so we can hand over all of those. Now. We still can't make that. Really? Oh, we need a Twilight. Of course we need a freaking Twilight Crystal. Dog on it. All right. First up, we're going to make Full Bloom. And we're going to use both of those. That sounds good. Bada beam, bada boom. Full Bloom drastically increases strength and maximum AP. And we are at max level, max Moogle level. So now rank S recipe materials are cut in half. So all rank S recipes now only need half the materials. Which is great. Now we're going to make Centurion. And we're going to use, let's see. Eh, we might as well use an energy... Well, hang on. We want to save an energy crystal for the ultimate weapon. We have that versus that. Oh, pfft. Yeah, well, we're just going to make the Shadow Archive. Drastically increases magic and maximum AP. And now we're going to make Centurion, and we're going to use the uh, energy crystal to cut the materials in half. Centurion, a staff with extraordinary strength and great magic. Alright, so for this one, we are going to need... Some more Tranquility Stones, so we'll need to do more of the Mushroom Challenges. For this one, we are going to need more Bright Gems. That, and more Remembering Shards. Fun, fun. For that, we're going to need another Tranquility Crystal. And we're going to need a Twilight Crystal. I want to make Ultimate Weapon this episode. And then we need Tranquility Crystal and Remembrance Crystal for the Serenity Crystal recipe. Dog on it. Okay, well, let's make an AP boost. Use Serenity Crystal. Oh, we need... Alright, I need more energy crystals, clearly. Uh, boy. For that one, we're gonna need more... Miffle Shards. For Miffle Shards, we need... Oh, of course, we need Dense Stones. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna need more Dense Stones. We're gonna need more energy crystals. Yep, more Dense Stones. We just need a lot of Dense Stones. Yep, we literally just need a whole bunch of, de of Dense Stones. Alright, well, guess I'm off to farm some deaths, <laughs> some dense stones, eh? And twilight crystals. Might as well also show off, this is also the best way of level grinding, is going to a world that never was. With experience boost in the Goldwing Keyblade, and just final form Pyrogony and everything when you're in on low HP. <laughs> you will get so much EXP this way. Unfortunately, in the original Kingdom, yeah, we're getting 900 experience points for every creeper that appears. <laughs> You're gonna level up fast. There's an even better way of leveling up if you're playing original Kingdom Hearts 2. You can go to the peak of Pride Rock and basically do the same thing. Goal Wing Keyblade, low HP, and go around spam Magnaga at the peak of Pride Rock. You get a bunch of rapid thrusters that only drop MP orbs. So you can level up insanely quickly and then when you when there's only a few left on screen, just leave and come back and they'll all respawn. Doesn't work in Final Mix because they don't respawn and they drop HP orbs now, so you, you can't stay in critical health easily. One thing I don't think I ever showed off was when I did the Organization 13 Mushroom Challenges, we unlocked the Precious Mushroom Step. Oh my gosh, I have five of them. <laughs> precious Mushroom, it only has one strength, it has five magic, and gives you MP haste as the ability. It's not terribly great, so I'm going to keep on Save the Queen Plus. We also have now the Centurion Step, which has a whopping 13 strength, which is almost twice the amount of any Keyblade that Sora can give. For And this is for Donald, and it has free magic. No ability. Um, as awesome as it is, Donald's physical attacks just flat out suck anyways, so really doesn't matter. Not going to equip that. But it is funny. Anyhow, I have a whole lot more Tranquility materials, but I still need to get that Twilight material, so I'm going back to Yensid's Tower. Change of plan, because Twilight Crystals are only dropped by those annoying sorcerers, and they only appear in the world that never was. We're going to know the world that never was. But we're going to the early rooms of the castle. Oh boy, I can buy Twilight Stones now, and Twilight Gems, but I didn't find any Twilight Crystals, because there are, like, no sorcerers anywhere. Oh, fun. Alright, Shock Charm. I'll, buy, I'll make Frozen Pride. Darn it, I need Energy Crystals. Fine. Ooh. 
Yes, I would like to make the Full Boom Plus. This is The Full Boom Plus is the best accessory. Drastically increases strength and maximum AP, and it, it comes with a free MP haste with it. And you can make as many of these as you want. Provided that you have the necessary materials for it. Oh, man, I still need any crystals. Alright, I need two mithril shards for that one. Two Mithril Shards for the Fungaga, I need two, uh, three Mithril Shards for that. Talk on it. Apparently I gotta work out them for some reason. And we get the Fungaga and Trinkulet. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Energy Star. So, right now we get the Chaos Anklet for that, which is an even better version of the Midnight Anklet. Cool. Power Band, we need a few more Mithril Stones. Okay, and then we need... Oh, surprise! Dense Stones. Dense Stones for... Now we get the Shock Charm. For this, incre extremely increases Thunder Resistance and Defense. That's the Lark Scene uh, bracelet, basically. That's what we made from Lark Scene's... Absent silhouette recipe. Okay. I will get you, Twilight Crystal. Eventually! Ah, oh, there's my energy crystal. Ooh! And we got a rare drop for Goofy. Uh, occasionally, Bookmasters can drop the, uh, what's it called? Record. I don't know. Let's see that in closer detail. Goofy is a new weapon. Yep. The Akashic Record. So it has 7 strength, a shield of great strength increases MP restoration speed by 25%. It's okay, I'm glad we got the rare drop. Ooh, excuse me. We can sell three of those nobody guards. We can also sell quite a few of those precious mushrooms as well. Give me my Twilight Crystal Frodo. Yes, Twilight Crystal! There are literally two sorcerers in the whole game. Unless I'm mistaken, and they're both in that one room of the world that never was. And they have a pretty low drop rate of Twilight Crystals, but we finally got it! <laughs> in me power! <laughs> uh, man, I feel like half of these save war points just don't have Moogle Shops near them. I guess I'll go to Land of Dragons. Alright, Moogle Shop. I am making... The Ultima Weapon. Ultima Weapon! The Keyblade above all others increases MP restoration rate by 75% once all MP has been consumed. That needs all seven Aura Calcum Pluses plus the Energy Crystal in order to have that to just, er, in order to have the 13 needed to seven. Oh my gosh, we finally freaking got it. There is no way to upgrade that to the Ultima Weapon Plus. It's impossible. Anyhow, I have been waiting for that because the Ultima Weapon. A lot of people think it's not the ultimate weapon, because it only has 6 strength and 4 magic, and as you know, Fenrir has 1 extra strength, Fatal Crest has 1 extra magic, and Decisive Pumpkin is more powerful for ground combos, and Hero's Crest is more powerful for air combos, but this is the best all-around Keyblade, and MP Hastiga is a very, very, very nice ability. This is also easily one of the coolest looking Keyblades in the whole series, if you ask me. Anyhow, I kind of want to keep making those recipes, though. Let's see. So for a draw rain, we are going to need more Remembrance Shards and more Bright Gems. Frozen Pride, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need more Tranquility Shards. Really? Okay. Well, I can get more of those easily. Alright. Frozen Pride, let's... Eh. I'm not even going to use an energy crystal for that one. Frozen Pride, this is Vexen's shield. It's a shield of the greatest defense. But defense isn't a category. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Oh, we need a Remembrance Crystal, that's right. Oh, fun. Magic boost, yeah. About time we got that. Shock Charm, let's use a Serenity Crystal. 
Let's see, remember the stone. Yeah, I don't really care about that. We don't need an energy. Oh, we do need an energy crystal for that. Shock Charm Plus extremely increases thunder resistance and defense, and also increases damage done by thunder-based attacks by 20%. If you want your thunder to be super powerful, you can equip, like, four Shock Charm Pluses, and your thunder will be just insanely powerful, which is pretty awesome. Alright, Frozen Pride, we're gonna need... Okay, we're at the point where we need more Lost Illusions, and the only way at this point to get Lost Illusions is by defeating the Data Organization. Okay. That's a bit of a bummer. Anyhow, now we need to get some bright gems from bulky vendors. So they can appear in Checkpoint at the Land of the Dragons, the Beast's Castle West Wing, they can appear at Crystal Can Can Lane in Halloween Town, they can appear in the Bazaar in Agrabah, and I think that's it. They also might be able to appear in uh, Olympus. Nope, we're getting a limited capsule. Maybe we'll get a bright gem from this. Serenity Gem? No. Yeah! Prime Capsule. Come on, give me a break, Gem. Maybe if I'm getting the bulky vendors for bright gems, the bright gems from bulky vendors, I have to do a lesser castle. Maybe that's it. I'm gonna try the rare capsule. Alright, so I've learned that apparently the limited capsules for the bulky vendors will give you a bright gem, like, all the time. Not sure if that's actually true, but let's find out. Let's go. castle. Let's go. It didn't look like I got a bright gem from that. Now I'm getting Serenity Gems. What the heck? Alright, forget the bulky vendor nonsense. I'm just gonna beat up some aerial knockers in Pride Lands. There's a bright crystal. I kinda want just a bright gem, though. Okay, finally got enough bright gems to be able to make this rain. The draw rain draws a nearby orb. Sweet. Finally got that. We can finally make the Serenity Crystal in free development. That'll be nice. Bada beam, bada boom, Serenity Crystal. Alright, we need another Remembrance Crystal for that one. And we make the draw rain plus. Yes, we can! Do, 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 do the Lucky Rain! It brings luck to the wearer, increasing the drop rate of items. So that basically is a free Lucky Lucky, but it doesn't actually do anything for your stats. Alright. And at this point, I think we need to call that an episode, because I've been recording this for around two hours now, trying to do all of that. I'm going to cut almost all of it out, though. So hopefully you'll just see, basically, Ca uh, Cavern of Remembrance, and then me recommending where to go for various synthesis materials and finishing up the puzzle pieces and all the treasures. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. For the next bonus episode, I believe we will be going back to Olympus Coliseum and taking on some of the new cups there. Because there are three new cups, I believe, we can do. Potentially four. But one of them is really, really big, and we're going to be saving that for later. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.